Hi, Mark Lee here at markets.com and welcome to our traders training session today. Talking about candlesticks, Japanese candlesticks, the very basis of being a technical trader. As a technical trader, we're working with charts. There are different kinds of charts one can use, but I think it's safe to say that candlestick charts are the industry norm, the industry, industry standard today. An imperative that you have a comfort level when you look at these candlesticks and we understand how to use them, how to read them, and why they give us so much vital information. And they do. What, what does a candlestick do? What is a candlestick? A candlestick records all the activity within a given time period. So the candlesticks can be five minute candlesticks, hourly candlesticks, daily candlesticks. They all will work the same way. The formation and what makes up a candlestick, regardless of the time frame that it covers, will have four basic characteristics. An open, a close, a high and a low. We'll, go, we'll of course put up a live chart, but there's, there's a candlestick. You've got green, you've got red. I know we've been looking at them, you've seen them. The difference between the green and the red, a green candlestick is an up candle. Buying, demand over supply, more buyers than sellers. Remember, over a given time period. For, for demonstration purposes, I'm actually going to put up a five minute chart. And you know that five minutes is not a, a time frame that I like to trade. But of course, for demonstration purposes, we can look at a five minute candlestick and watch it being formed. So the four characteristics that make up, or the four elements rather, that make up a candlestick is the open price, the closed price, how low it goes and how high it goes within that time frame. Let's call it, a, for now, a five-minute time frame. So every five minutes, candlestick will close, a new one will start. It will start at a certain price. And as long as the price goes up, it will be green. If it goes down, it will be red. So the green or the red gives us a direction. And throughout the course of the five minutes, it could go down. So it will look like it's green, uh, red. And then it will go higher than the open. It will be green until it closes after five minutes. And the difference between the open and the close, that is the body of the candle. And then we have the wick that it leaves behind, showing us how high it went within the five minutes or how low it went. And a red candle, a red candle, the exact opposite. It opens at a certain price at the start of a five minute period. And as long as it goes lower than the open price, as long as the price is lower, it will be red until it eventually closes. And if it closes lower than the open price, It'll be a red candle. What causes it to be red? What causes it, rather, not what causes it to be red, what causes the price to go down? More sellers than buyers. It's buyers against sellers. It's supply against demand. And we can look at it over whatever time period we choose. So we can get whatever kind of perspective we want. What does it do over a day? What does it do over an hour? What does it do over a four-hour period? And of course, our strategy will differ depending on the time frame that we're trading. But we get this vital information from the candlestick. And that's why at a glance, it becomes clear to us. The body, remember? That's the difference between the open and the close. Green is an up candle, more buyers than sellers. It closes higher than it opens. 
Red is a down candle, more sellers than buyers. Supply over demand. And by the way, the green and the red, of course, depending on the, uh, the, the broker you're working with, or rather the chart that you're using, could be different, and you can configure them or, or any color you like. Pretty much standard, pretty much across the board, that up candles, in other words, closing higher than opened, are green, have seen some blue as well, and red if it's a down candle and closes lower than it opens. It's the basis of technical chart analysis. It paints a picture for us, a clear picture for us. And like I say, it is pretty much showing or, or showing um, in graphic form supply and demand. We know that demand is a buyers. The more demand, the more buyers, the higher the price will go. The more sellers is supply rather than demand. More people at that particular price are looking to sell and the price will go down. And that, and that gives us, if we watch these candles being formed, and I'm not suggesting you should sit all day long and watch the candles being formed, but I absolutely do suggest that you spend some time watching some five-minute candles and just watching the way they form and get comfortable in seeing the formation of a candle and seeing buying and selling at work and seeing how supply and demand are dictating these trends. And then, of course, once we understand that, the basis of it, it would apply to be it hourly, be it four hour, be it daily candles, same principle. Let's have a look at these charts. I've got up the US yen. I've got a five minute chart. Let's make that a little bigger. And this started, have a look at my time, 6.40. So this five minute candlestick started right now at 6.40. This previous one, I'm going to read the information from this information box. Today, Sunday, August 29th, the open price of this five minute period, which was at 22.35, it opened at 109.83. It went as high as 109.85. That's why it's got that little wick at the top. It went as low as 109.83. It opened at 109.83. That's the low. So it didn't go lower. That's why there's no wick at the bottom. And the close, which is the price it closed at, 109.84. Opened at 109.83, it closed at 109.84. Very small scale, it's a five minute. But if, and now this one is going higher. Read this, it opened at 109.84. It went as low as 109.84. In other words, no, it didn't go lower than it opened. I'm hoping one does go lower, even though it's going up right now. So you can see that this can change. The fact that this is a green candle does not mean it will continue to be green throughout the five minutes. The reason it's green is because the live price, we're calling it the close rate, the live price, what it is right now, is higher than the open. This big red candlestick over here, which is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 minutes ago. These are five minute candles. It opened at 109.83, it closed at 109.79. It went down four pips. It went as low as 109.77. There's the wick down there. And it's leaving that kind of as a reminder to show us this was solid red and then came back up. 
So these candlesticks give me trend direction. It's showing me there's a clear uptrend. I've got higher highs and higher lows, which are the characteristics of a, an uptrend. Higher highs, higher lows, as opposed to a downtrend, lower lows, lower highs. And then let's zoom out and have a look at a I'm saying more realistic, although they're both realistic. Have a look at the different picture I'm getting when I look at the daily. Here's today. Here's today's candlestick. It's Sunday evening for me here in uh, Toronto. So Asian session is getting one underway. The new week is starting, 29th of August, meaning of, it's already the 30th of August in uh, in Asia. Sydney will be opening soon. Tokyo will be opening soon. I'm looking at a daily. Now this daily candlestick, let's blow it up really big. There it is. I'm putting my, what I'm going to do, let's get rid of our signal line. We don't need that. Just so we can be clear on the day on the candle. What information am I reading? I'm reading on this candle. It opened at 109.84. It went as low as 109.75. So it went down nine pips. It went as high as 109.85, slightly higher than it opened. Now 109.83, not much happening. Just started, we're, right, we're starting at the beginning of a new week. But have a look at the candle. It's left that wick to show me it went down nine pips. The body is fractionally red. In fact, now it's got no body at all. That candlestick has a name. We call it doji, even though it's just started, I know. But the candlestick is a doji when there is no bottom, uh, no body. Open and close are the same price. But have a look at clearly. This is what happened on Friday, Friday, August the 27th. The US weakened against the yen. It opened at 110.07. It closed at 109.78. So almost 30 pips. More sellers than buyers. But within this, look how high it went. It went as high as 110.25, there, the top of the wick. If I want to zoom in to all this activity, let's go to the hourly, and we can see what happened on Friday. So there on Friday, first it went down, beginning of the Asian uh, European session. It went a lot higher. On Friday, look how it went all the way up here, hour by hour by hour, and then it came down drastically, and then it leveled out at the end of the day. This now is showing us what's happened at this hour. It's been going for 45 minutes. It started at 10. Let's stick to, I won't confuse the times. GMT time, 10 p.m. Have a look, Sunday, August the 29th, 2200 hours. And it's been going for 45 minutes. It's pretty much where it started, you can see. The open and the close, pretty much the same. It opened at 109.85, it's now 109.85. That's why there's no body. But it left, it went all the way down here. And if we zoom in, we'll see that going down on the five minute chart. Because the five minute chart is going to have nine candlesticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is what's happened since 6 p.m. 10 p.m., sorry. 10 p.m., there it is. From there, it went all the way down. This is every five minute by five minute came all the way up. And you can see it now pretty much where it started. And, and that's why I always say, don't confuse and mix up the time frames. We're seeing 
very different, different patterns, aren't we, when we look at this five-minute chart, as opposed to an hour chart, a daily chart. The trends will look different. The only one constant is going to be the price is the same. There, it's 109.85. How did it get to be there? On the five-minute chart, it's had a nice run of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes, the last half an hour. If I go to a 30-minute chart, you'll see a nice candle, a nice green candle. There it is. And the half hour before is where it came down. So we get a different perspective. The price is the same. 109.85, there it is. But we'll get a different perspective depending on the time frame we're working with. And these candles, as technical traders, they certain patterns are formed. Candlestick patterns. And those patterns give us signals. Does it mean they'll be 100% accurate every time? Of course not. But enough of the time that it's, a, 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 that it's one more of the criteria I'll look at when taking a trade. I'll look for reversal patterns, which are double tops and double bottoms. Let's see if I can find one on the daily for you. There is a bearish engulfing candle. There is a double bottom. So double tops and double bottoms are reversal, meaning at the end of an uptrend, they come to the exact same high, two weeks or the body at the exact same level. Green comes to an end, red, it's a reversal. For a downtrend, red, 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 forms a support, a green, exact same level, bounces off, double bottom, double tops and double bottoms, strong reversal patterns, as are bullish and bearish engulfing. In both of them, you need a preceding trend, and the trend gets reversed. Like I said, there is a bearish engulfing. The green ends, the red engulfs it, and sure enough, it comes down. The exact opposite here, a bullish engulfing. There's a downtrend, red candle. This green is engulfing it, closing higher than the previous candle, and it reverses, and it sure does. There's an uptrend. And then we have to understand and look at the candlestick pattern in the context of what the market's doing. What do, what do, We've been working together for a while now. What else am I looking at? I'm putting in support and resistance. I'm using moving averages and I'm looking at candlestick patterns. That's pretty much the three uh, criteria I'm using. And interesting that they all use candlesticks. My moving average either crosses above or below. The candle, or the price reflecting the candle, crosses my moving average lines. My support and resistance are the high and low points of the candle, and I include the wick. So if I'm to draw in my resistance and support, there's my resistance, there's my support, that's the high point, that's the low point. Again, I've used my candles. And then, when I look at candlestick patterns, sure, um, it's the patterns that are forming, it's the candles, sorry, that are forming the pattern. Double tops, double bottoms, bullish and bearish engulfing, and continuation patterns, where we have ascending and descending triangles. Of course, we'll go into all of this when we do the training. It's more an overview of why candlesticks are important, why they paint the picture that they do, and why we need to understand them. And I think you can see that now. Hopefully clear to you why these candlesticks, why they give us the feel that they do. And how we get a different perspective of the market depending on the time frame we're working with, uptrend, downtrend, and it's all reflected in these candlesticks. The candlesticks 
record all the activity within a given time period. It puts the price changing, and it continues to change, as you know, all the time. It puts it into graphic form, as opposed to it's 1798. Let's see, hopefully it gets to, to move a little bit now. It's 1798, 17, it will go to 1799 if it comes green. But I can see that there's been a slight sell-off in this five-minute period, a slight sell-off just by seeing the color red and seeing that the price has gone down. I immediately know that in this five-minute period, there are more sellers than buyers. It might not stay that way. In the same way as I know that at that in that five minutes, that five minutes, there were more sellers than buyers. In this, the last 15 minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, there were more buyers than sellers reflected in the candlestick. Green, it's an up candle. Up equals green equals buy. Down equals red equals sell. Look how this changed color. It was red just a moment ago. I'm glad we've managed to see that. It's red again. Can you see? It's live. It keeps changing. As long as the open price is 117.85, anything higher, it will be green. Anything lower, it will be red. And it will continue to change until the end of the five minutes, and then a new one will start. And the same principle will apply whether it's a five minute whether we're working on a daily good trading guys keep that discipline get comfortable with these candlesticks and like i say even though it doesn't mean you have to be trading on a five minute chart just to see them being formed get a feel for how they developed and how they take shape and the information we get from them watching a five minute you're actually seeing them open and close Good trading, keep that discipline.